today we're going to be trying um, Halloween treats that were on the Lidl website. Um, I've tried the Lidl recipes before that are included in the 5 for £20 and I really enjoyed them. So I went to have another look to see if they had been updated at all and I saw the Halloween ones. So I went and tried them. So the first one I tried was these witch's fingers and these were the ones I was really worried about because in the picture they look um, really, really good. Um, but it's really, really easy and really, really simple. So there's already this pre-made, um, pre-rolled short crust pastry. So I have here just put them all into shapes and moulding them into like finger style shapes. Um, and I just use the knife to like make knuckle shapes and like the lines on the finger. Um, so yeah, these were actually really, really easy. I then got a bit of um, salsa and used that to glue on the almond uh, fingernails. Obviously you, if you're allergic to knots this isn't the one for you, um, but as you can see they really start taking shape even before they've been in the oven and these actually had the wow factor when I then took them to a Halloween party with the family. So this is just an egg wash, um, a really bad <laughs> egg wash with a bit of food colouring in. I don't have a brush and I didn't plan ahead to actually get a brush to actually brush this over. So this was um, how I did that with these. The next was the crispy Frankenstein heads and these are just a version of the Rice crispy snacks. Um, so there I was just preparing the pan, sorry the bowl I was going to use and just melting some chocolate, uh, adding some green food colouring and the Rice Krispies. I added a bit more food colouring because it didn't quite cover or give enough coat, I felt, to this Rice Krispie and I just pour it all over, flatten it out, smooth it out and then that went in the fridge. I sliced them up and obviously took them out of um, the bowl that they were in and this is dark chocolate melted into a piping bag. I've never piped it before, you can probably tell. I've made a bit of a mess, but obviously they start taking shape pretty much straight away once they've got the hair on. I'm using white chocolate buttons to stick some eyes on. Um, it's very messy, this will be very fun to do um, with some probably older children than what I have, because um, it is a little bit fiddly, a little bit time consuming. And here I am making a mess with the piping again. <laughs> but I enjoyed it. I find baking quite therapeutic. Um, so it was nice just to have that time to do this for a little family party that we're going to. Um, I used different icing pens to make it a bit more fun. Because I didn't have that much black. I only had one of the little things of black icing. So I decided to go all colourful in giving the mouths and obviously the mouth. Sorry, eyebrows. This one was actually a big hit, the Halloween spider bark. Um, and it's, again, very, very easy. Didn't need any cooking. Um, here's my makeshift bowl because I'm running out of baking trays. Just melt a bit of chocolate at the bottom. And these are called speculoos in Lidl. But they're basically um, like Biscoff biscuits and they are very, very nice. Here I am just breaking it up to fit all at the base. Once cooled and set, I put some more chocolate on top. So you flattened all that out, made sure it was level. And here I am melting some more cho dark chocolate, obviously not in frame. <laughs> and I try to make a spider's web. As you can see, it <laughs> went very well. I'm hoping you can kind of guess at this point what it was, but um, yeah, piping is not my speciality. I'll probably have to do a bit more practice on that. And the spiders are just basically Maltesers and raisins just chopped into like little leg shapes. These, <laughs> I thought would be the easiest, these slasher cupcakes, but I forgot one of the main ingredients, which was fondant icing. So it kind of ended a bit badly, as you'll probably see um, in a minute. So here I am mixing butter and sugar. I'll be creaming that all together. I've just mixed up some eggs. I tend to do it in a separate pot to make sure I haven't got any eggshell in there. And then 
I have sifted some flour. I never used to sift flour, but I found it took ages getting all the lumps out, so I try and do this um, to like cocoa and flour to obviously make sure that it's, it's easier for me. then ready to put in the oven. <coughs> At this point was when I found out, yep, yeah, I missed the main ingredient and it was a disaster from there. So I thought doing a bit of ice and sugar and jam as a buttercream, um, it would sort of solidify a little bit to make it look like a bit of that slash of blood thing we saw in the picture but there wasn't enough icing sugar to kind of set it because I wanted it to set and then kind of sit on top of the cake and just make it like a little gooey um, topping. It ended up just being a very gooey, messy thing. But, you know, we live and learn. It's just one of them things. If I ever do this again, I'll have to remember the fondant icing. And so I stuck some gummies and some eyeballs. So these are the final product of the little Halloween recipes that I tried, the little treats. Um, other than the cakes, <laughs> they were all really good. Um, so let me know if there's any recipes that you've tried for Halloween or that maybe I should try in the future. Thank you, bye!